This is your menu for the day and there are many different ways that you can change the formatting and you do that by going over to the panel to the left. The upper portion has a pull down and this is just different views that you can look at. and You can explore these later. The order ticket has a separate tutorial so after you click on order ticket click on the little bubble in the bottom right hand corner and watch the tutorial for that. Coming back to our menu for the day Below that are presets. Presets are saved formats, and you just click on the down arrow. The system one are the ones that we've done here at Grove Menus, just to give you some ideas. The upper ones are ones that you have saved for your facility. So if I want to go look at this top one here, I just click on it. Now any time that we switch a template, it's going to warn you and ask if you want to save your changes or proceed anyway. I suggest you always click on Save Changes and save the current format that you have so you don't lose it. Below here you can um, change the description of the ones you already have or you can delete it. So looking at a couple of ideas here, this first one, we're just going to proceed anyway, you might want your menu to look like this. Or there's another one here called Separate Mails Lined Courses. And you're going to see a lot of variety and uh, you can get very creative with all these. Um, let's look at this single menu boxed entries. So a lot of different formats that would be good to try. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the breakfast, lunch, and dinner separate pages with category. Let's go ahead and proceed anyway. We'll, we'll play with this one now. So there's three uh, pages with our menus. Now below the presets are some other elements. And as you hover over them, you're going to see a little cog to the right open up. And you can uh, click on it and open up the settings for that. And you can close it. Every one of these has settings. You can hover over any of these elements uh, and they'll tell you what it's going to do. Over to the left here is a pull down. And it just expands or contracts the list. So if you ever see one of these, just click on it and see what it does as far as expanding and contracting. Let's go ahead and look at a couple things on the document. Let's say I don't want to have breakfast. I can just remove it and it just shows lunch and dinner. And I can simply add it back just by clicking here and uh, tell it I want breakfast back. Again, I can go ahead and delete it. Uh, we have another thing called a, tri uh, a half fold. So we can click on the menu fold here and click on half fold. Now a half fold you might want to use to have your menu on the left hand side and your static menu are always available on the right hand side. We probably want to get rid of breakfast here. I just want lunch and dinner. And on this uh, other side I'd like to have one of my always available. So you could uh, explore that as well. We're going to switch it back to none and uh, let's switch it to just be one piece of paper. So I have lunch and dinner there. Um, sometimes it can be confusing what you're actually working on as you open up these settings and I always turn the border off and on. Right now the border's on but let's pretend it was off. So if I did the document and I was curious about what document changes would make, I just click on the border. Everything within that will change. Now let's do another example of that. Maybe I'm going to the uh, date and I want to know where's the date and what it's going to affect. I just turn that border on and turn it off so I can tell what it's doing. Um, let's go ahead and go uh, to the meals here and let's say I'd like to do some columns. Now we're on the meals so let's look at the border. That's what's going to change. So if I guess I want to do two columns here there's the lunch and then there's dinner. So we can switch that back to one. Maybe I'd really like to do the category. So let's see what that is. Oops, let's turn that border off on my meals. We don't want that. And let's go to categories. Okay, and let's see what it does with that. So there's the uh, categories. Let's go ahead and do two columns with that. All right, that doesn't look too bad. I think what I want to do is go back up to my document and put it on separate pieces of paper. 
So that's looking pretty good. Maybe another thing I'd like to do is go to the categories again. Now that border's on, I can just turn it off just so it's on and off. I'd like to put some padding and put some more space in between the categories. Maybe after every category, I'm going to put 10 spaces. And let's just see. See that, how that uh, draws that out? And then maybe I want to do the recipe over here. They're kind of tight here. So I can go to the recipe. And uh, again, I'm not sure what it's going to do. Turn the border on. OK. Let's put some padding there as well. I don't think I want as many, but let's just do let's do five and turn that off. So you can play with this and uh, get it like you want. Make sure you save your changes. And that is your how do you can change the menu format.